Hey folks, I'm Savine Glory, and welcome to part 39 of my campaign is Gondor in Divide and Conquer. So, pretty much the standard situation. Um, we're expecting Mordor, we're at the end of the turn, expecting Mordor to attack Western as Gilead and potentially lay siege, probably lay siege to Kerandros once again. In our turn, we uh, defeated, I think this is the remnants of it, the Viriag army which had lain siege to Tarnost. So we're chasing that down and the rest of the troops that we had gathered uh, to fight that battle are uh, returning from whence they came. I wonder if this army would sally out and try and attack us. We shall see. We've got another small Viriag army over here. I wonder if that is heading up for Brethel. So the Viriags are becoming a bit more of a problem now, but hopefully before long we will be able to um, maintain a large enough army to come in here and at least force them back a wee bit. I'm not too bothered about going off and defeating them, I just want to prevent them coming up and attacking our territory. So, uh, we're at the end of the turn as I said. Uh, I'm not sure I've moved my diplomats. I don't know where are my diplomats. Uh, I think we've got somebody up around uh, further up, maybe up around. Aye, there he is. Yes, my lord. Yeah, that's right. I was going to send you in to check yes. out the woodland realms. As you wish. Carry on. Without question. As you wish. Oh, I was hoping to have met yes. someone by now, so we'll just go ahead. Approaching their dignitary. Can we Tomorrow's speak to him? Plan no, now. even I that's too far. Tomorrow, so hopefully here. we'll pick up a, an alliance with the Woodland, Woodland Realms. And over here... My lord speaks highly of you. Now have I... Oh, no, I've completely forgotten whether I actually spoke to these guys the last time out. My lord. I think I did. Or was it Erin Lewin? Oh, let's talk to the High Elven army anyway. Tomorrow's journey oh, we can't. Oh, my God. I shall continue tomorrow, if only I could. Um, I don't want you to <laughs> go and do that. Uh, no, that's... Yes, my lord. Right, okay, okay. No, you stay where you are. Stopping here. Over here. I am a warrior. Where is a our my diplomat? Please, your that's order. him. Yes, right, so he had spoken, obviously, to the High Elves last time. Well, we just need to wait until we can Impossible. drag you out of there. Yeah, nothing we can do. So, let's go ahead then and finally end the turn. So I do expect one of those three armies up north of Kirandros to come down and lay siege. Uh, and the attack against Westerners Gilead. There we go. Well, I'm going to fight this uh, and as usual, we'll fight it off camera because we've seen it so often before. We'll just line up at the end of the bridge, let them come across, throw themselves against our spears, fill them full of arrows, and um, then chase them down. Uh, so, as I said, this is. Ah, these guys have taken quite a bit of damage since the last time. It's not been replenished. No matter, we've still got plenty there. So, as I said, we'll fight it off camera and then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, almost done. Uh, pretty costly battle this time. We lost nearly half our forces, but obviously, we've d destroyed the enemy army once again. So, I'm just going to put an end to it here. The enemy are utterly vanquished. This doesn't this look so bad when you compare that, but yeah, uh, Archer Militia. 
I think I would rather the casualties had healed more in the territorial guardsmen or even the Gondor militia. Never mind. It is what it is. We have defended Westerners Gilead once again. Have to do some merging up, obviously. And we do have some troops back in Minas Tirith that we could maybe bring forward and merge up or retrain. Uh, but money's a wee bit What's limited. Four and a half thousand would be nice, but as usual. And yeah, they do besiege Kid Andros. One, two, two full stacks, two near full stacks, and two that are about three quarter strength. Variags seem to have sent some troops out. Um, okay, the enemy have reappeared. A clear defeat this time for us. We should disengage. Yeah. The enemy shows no mercy. Naval combat's not no worthwhile in medieval uh, total war, as far as I'm concerned. Dunlanding's in ring. Yeah, that's neither really here nor there. Things have improved with our Rohan. Okay, a bit more income. Uh, fine officer, our admiral, great. Uh, yeah, weakened considerably by our <laughs> losses in that last battle and uh, besieged as we expected. So, in here. We'll leave the archers as they are, but we need to obviously merge up those guys and we ended up losing one of our territorial guardsmen after all. Minas Tirith. Uh, let's just send the Gondor Spearmen back over. Merge you together. And then here, 216. Let's pay for them to be regraded, uh, retrained. I don't think we can retrain. Oh, actually, we can. Well, we will. And we can probably still... oh no. If I didn't do that, recruit a full strength unit instead. Yeah. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Uh, we're going to sally out and attack this army. So we're going to lose our 369 gold that we have. Damn. Awaiting your yeah, command. Continuing to Brethel. We don't have any real forces around there. Fan Willon is in one region. We had to go back and defend Tarnost. We had no choice. The blood of Numenor. I will not waste words on you. Okay. I will not waste words on you. We don't really need to worry about that too much. Captain of Gondor. I think I want to bring these troops over towards my brothel. Fan we launched. Uh Marchmen. We don't Let have set up camp. anything really here. I'm not going to even try and retrain them. Dolamroth, I need you to be doing something. Maintain order. Let's bring you back to Tarnost. Onward.
It's a long march. I think we'll just leave them where they are. Might send the horses back. Not doing any good there, just the six of them. I'm not going to retrain them for a long time at least. So let's have you head for Aethering for now. As you wish. We can go no further today. I will go and check out our diplomats. Yes, my lord. What is it you wish to discuss? How about an alliance? I must say, we are not convinced. Uh, Until we meet again. Okay, we'll continue on up here then. Without question. As you wish. I shall continue tomorrow. And can we extract you from here? Yes, we can. Lord. Right, we're going to head... Actually, what's the best way to go? Well, I guess it is up and around yes. then. But over here, as I said, we'll sally out and we'll attack this army. Just weaken its numbers. What does it actually have? Just the usual. Nothing unusual there at all. In fact, Would Captain Gorzai come in? Stick you. He is just the one hex or square away. It's not really a problem if he does. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll do this anyway. Slay them. No, I'm not coming in. Fine. Don't let them any further. And again, fight this off, well, fight, shoot these guys up off camera and then bring you guys back later on. Well, here we are. Uh, usual sort of story, uh, although they had more cav and archers this time than they seem to have had in the past. So we've taken out a couple of their archer battalions, one of their lancers. Uh, they had another... Ah, it's down here. Another cav company down there. One over on that flank as well. Um, so we did sally out up to about this point. They pulled right back to there. And we can't get up to see what this carnage that we caused. Uh, but their archers did take some casualties from us. Not too many, only 1% obviously, but more than I would have liked. But still I think we've taken out maybe 5 or 6 of their units again. Seems to be just about average when you sally out. And I'm toying with the idea of sallying out again. The day comes to an end. Uh, so we only lost 13 overall. Right. Yes, we... Hmm, do I want to do that? Because they're unlikely to attack, given that they've been weakened. Uh, and if they do, we can manage them quite easily with the forces that we have in Kerandros. And I suppose it's, it's coming down to a matter of cost. So we lose our baggage train, uh, which takes us down to minus 81. So if I were to sally out and attack them again... I'm gonna stick you. Let's see, lost seven units. And... Only... Is that nine? No, it must be 191. Or something like that in there. Because um, I could potentially wipe that army out. But if I do that, the next one just comes in and lays siege anyway. Uh, so I may as well just stay where we are. These guys are okay for now. 
when we've got some money, we'll retrain them. Another armor coming in here. Again, just looks like the usual. Leofric the Bode makes a return. Okay, so we'll just end the turn here then. Still making a wee bit of money. Actually, let's check out So, is it Tarnas? Do we have the mines? No, there's the mines there. It's Ethering. That explains it's 1946 there. Captain of Gondor. Yeah, so they'll head to Brethel or down to Fanwilon, depending on what this army does. They might even have to go across to Pelargar. I'm going to leave the camera here this time. Hopefully see a massive Dol Amroth army come out and retake Linhar or appear and take out this very egg general. Anyway, let's move on and see what happens. Very little, obviously. I was actually staying here more to see what the very eggs did. Skip past murder quite quickly, which doesn't mean too much. Um, obviously, there's an attack. Speaking of, uh, but murder uh, usually the amount of time that a turn in turn takes is usually to do with um, agents, spies, and diplomats and the like. Right, we're well, not getting a farm armsman's guild. We trained a couple and got some more troops in Western as Gilead. Field in the mission, this was uh, Ostithil. Yep. This is better. And Fanwilond besieged. What do they have in this army? There will be much honor uh, in defeating you. Similar to what we had before. Like Candish raiders, some mercenaries, horse archers. All right. Maintain order. You, oh, you can reach. Protect the blood right. of well, you can definitely reach. So can we get you in here? I don't want to make the attack. I want you in there. Marchmen. I don't suppose you'll be able to reach either. No. Maintain order. That's fine. We'll live with that. I'm going to leave the two generals up in Tarnost just now, just in case these guys decide to head up. And there was another half stack roughly in here, which is obviously somewhere in this area now. And we've got another half stack on its way across. All right, that's the situation. We've got a moment's respite here. Let's send you back over. Yes. And retrain them. No, uh, we can't recruit these for another three turns. So. What can we recruit here? Anfalus Pikemen. Yes. Well, their, their defence isn't as good because they don't have uh, shields. And their armour's poorer. Actually, it's only their charge bonus that gives them any sort of advantage. Skilled against mounts, as are those guys, can make shield wall, these guys can make spear wall. And the very long spears. 
Uh, upkeep of 290 compared with 200. Yeah, there we go. I'm thinking Black Root Veal Archers as opposed to these guys here. A lot more expensive, but they do, uh, well, double melee attack, not much more missile attack. Hmm. Good stamina, but that's not really much of an issue. So I'm not going to... I really want some Athelian Rangers across in Westerners Gilead. But we'll leave it at that for the moment. Up here, let's see what we can retrain. Yeah, I'm going to focus on our Athelian Rangers for now. Hmm. Right, so I guess then... Well, let's deal with our diplomats and then I'm going to sally out from Kir Andros. Yes, my Could lord. Could you come up? Actually, just come and talk to... What is it you wish um, to Thala. How about an alliance? I must say no, not nobody wants an alliance apart from. Good day to you. Who was it? Enid Wythe. They came Without and asked question. us for an alliance. Uh, so that's fine. The other diplomat has his long march orders. So we'll leave him to carry them out at the end of the turn. And in the meantime, let's go ahead. Protect the captain of Gondor. We'll attack this army again. Let them have it, man. And I think uh, this time we'll probably stay with the battle. The battle. I keep calling it a battle. It's not even a skirmish. Ah. We've had a crash. Um, okay, so I guess then I'm going to put a break in here. Hopefully I'll be able to recover this at the end turn. I really should get into the habit of saving before battles. Anyway, as I said, time for a break. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.